I get a call uh, in football season, and uh, Jimmy Rayburn said, okay, uh, we're taking you off this game. We're going to put you on Clemson and South Carolina. I said, Clemson and South Carolina? Uh, I, I said, why? Well, I'll explain it to you later. Well, uh, Sparky Woods mm. was coaching at uh, South Carolina, and Ken Hatfield was coaching at Clemson. Both of them are going to get fired after the game. Neither team is worth a flip. And so I go to, I go to Jimmy. I said, Jimmy, how many markets is this going to be in? He said, three, you know, in the state of South Carolina, that's the only place it's going to be carried. I said, why is that? Well, he said, Strom Thurmond gave me a call this week and wanted to know why the Clemson South Carolina game wasn't on television. And Jimmy tried to explain it to him. And Strom Thurmond apparently said, well, you know, that uh, I'm on this uh, one of these uh, Senate committees about insurance, and you don't think you'd want us probing into any of the Jefferson Pilot uh, insurance. Wow. And they said, well, I guess not. So he said, Kessling, you're a low man on the totem pole. You've got uh, Clemson and South Carolina. And sure enough, both coaches got fired after the game. Oh, and I don't remember who even won the game. I do remember having lunch with Sparky. Sparky, of course, is a, uh, a Tennessee guy. So we had lunch the day before the game. And uh, he was kind of telling me, you know, it was like a guy walking the plank and we're getting ready to do it. But that's kind of the, the stuff you had going on. Back crazy. I, I believe that was 93. Not uh, even Clemson been, won yeah. that game, but it was yeah. 13. And both coaches did get fired. And, and Clemson was actually eight and three that year and went to the Peach Bowl. Tommy West, another Tennessee guy, took over for Hatfield and actually coached the Peach Bowl uh, as a new coach. And they beat Kentucky. Uh, but South Carolina was up 13 to three. Uh, with Steve Tanny Hill and, and some of those guys. And I think it was Carolina's second year in the SEC. Uh, and Clemson rallied with uh, just running the option and playing defense in 116. And, and, and that just, it shows you, like, again, if you're over a certain age, it's incomprehensible that a rivalry game would not, not be on TV. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it a step further. I'm going to go a decade later, 2004 or 2005, and I can't remember the year. So it's either Lou's final year or Spurrier's first year. Uh, again, neither team at that point was that good. And ESPN did not pick it up. So if ESPN doesn't pick it up, nobody's got it. It's an orphan. So I get a phone call saying, Mike, you're going to do it. on." And I did a lot of these games, pay-per-view. A lot of uh, SEC games that were not picked up on TV, we did on pay-per-view, and you'd pay your twenty nine ninety five, and of course, any technical glitch that was out there, you know who hears about it, Bob. The announcers do, because clearly right. we're the ones pulling the switches and sure. operating oh, yeah. the cameras. Yeah. I didn't and, those. yeah, so so I'm sitting there and I'm going, I get to call a South Carolina Clemson game in two thousand four, two thousand five. On, on television, like, this is fantastic. This is a great opportunity. And a phone call was made, I believe, by, among other people, the South Carolina AD at the time, Mike McGee, to ESPN, who they were still kind of inching closer and closer to signing that mega deal with the Southeastern Conference, saying, hey, look, we can't have our Carolina-Clemson rivalry not on regular television. We're asking people to pay $30. So eventually – they found a way to get it on TV, you know, ESPN, U or ESPN two, whatever it was, they found an outlet and our, and I prepared all week to do paper pay-per-view. I believe my analyst is going to be Don Munson. Who's now the radio voice at Clemson. And, uh, the Eddie long story short, we, we found out we were not doing the game. So we went from doing a pay-per-view game and we're all excited and we got all prepped up. And then finally, uh, they decided, no, this is, this is too important. We need to go ahead and make sure it's on linear television without pay-per-view. And nowadays, it would be incomprehensible to ever have, whether it's South Carolina, Clemson, Florida, Florida State, Georgia, Georgia Tech, North Carolina, NC State, all those games, you know, are going to be on a TV station week in, week out. 